Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and boy do I have a wonderful tutorial to share using the Brother Label Printer. Now, you could follow along with any label printer that you have to create. Ah! <laughs> Look at all of my personalized clothespins. Oh my goodness. Now, we all use clothespins or used to, right? <laughs> Growing up, we had a clothes line. And I remember taking these traditional clothespins to hang up clothes on the line. And I just love the idea of incorporating something that's dear to my childhood and many of yours into our um, crafting space, our crafting, even in the office. And the label machine has become like my favorite craft room tool <laughs> or machine. I absolutely love it. I purchased the PT, the P-Touch Embellish from Michaels, but I have a link in my description box for the D210 model, which I have that model. I compared those models in a video. They're very similar and the price is much cheaper. Okay, I have a blank screen. I'm gonna hold down the caps button and I've noticed you have to depress this button for several seconds before you can get capital letters. I'm gonna spell out love. One space, spell out Jesus. Alrighty, now, I don't think I've ever showed how you can minimize the waste of your labels. Click on the menu button and then you want to scroll until you see margin and then select OK. You have several options under margin. You have full, half, and narrow. Select narrow by clicking OK. This feature is great if you're not chain printing but you want to minimize the waste of your end labels. Okay, I also want to change the font size. Click font. When you see size, select that by selecting OK. And you have three options, large, medium, and small. Select OK. And let's go ahead and print. Oh, no, we can't print. <laughs> because well not if you want to create vertical labels and that's what I want to do here so select font use your arrow keys until you see style select that by selecting OK and use your arrow keys until you see vertical and select OK if you like you could use the preview button and I'm not going to turn my um, machine, but you, well, I can see that my words are small and it's going to print vertical. Okay. But here you see my customized words. In my prior videos, I have used only the 12 millimeter size tape, which converts to a little under a half of an inch, point, uh, four, seven inches. But clothespins come in different sizes, right? Well, Brother offers at least four different sizes of tapes that you can choose from. What I just printed on was the nine millimeter, which converts to 0.35 inches, a little over a third of an inch. And this is what I'm gonna use to customize this particular size clothespin. It also works for the smaller one. But you know what? You can go further than that. You could even use it <laughs> for this mini one. Now, I'm going to offer a separate video just on the different tapes and do a comparison on that. I do have a smaller, I think a six millimeter tape coming that will also work perfectly with these mini clips but if you do a little bit of cutting on the side 
which don't always turn out <laughs> right and I'll show you a couple but you could use you know a larger tape size for um, a larger clothespin and a smaller clothespin so we are working with this size here and remember I printed my font small okay so let me show you how easy it is to work with this tape and customize clothespins for gift giving right you can sell these at craft fairs I will make a set for my daughter who's in law school just for her you know for her apartment and she can use as she please I have a fabulous project oh my goodness you guys that I am going to um, use I'm going to incorporate these clothespins well I'm going to make other ones in this project I've never seen anything like it before and I'm super excited about it okay so there's many colors to choose from but I tend to gravitate towards the clear now you can take clothespins that are already colored which I love this brown clothespin I picked up at Daiso now you can embellish these clothespins even more you could also do the other side I don't like how this one turned out and this one because I used the 12 millimeter tape and I had to cut it down and that size of tape with this size of clothespin did not work I mean it looks okay but it just didn't when I cut off this side it left more tape on this side I mean there's a way to work around it you would have to center your words but it's so much easier if you have the right label tape that corresponds with your clothespin to start with but once again you can use one tape for different sizes because I've done that here okay so for this clothespin I used my foil technique I'll have the video um, linked in my description box so super cool I do have several others that I use the foil technique like these two here it's foiled I hope you can see that now with your clothespins you can go vertical orientation or horizontal orientation and you can decorate both sides I did that for some of mine and that's super cool because if you want to change up the feel really quick you could just decorate both sides and flip it okay now this is super cool you guys because if you don't you could buy clothespins that are already patterned like this one and I use the clear tape on top but you can decorate these yourself and I know many of you have done this because we all love washi tape what you're looking at is washi tape right and then I added a clear label black on clear the word dream there so super cool this one and you probably can't let's see where is it I have several that I have added washi okay here's another one I've added washi to washi on the back and then there's another one it's kind of hard to tell because I used a light washi okay so I'll show that when I find it but take a look at these these were already colored by recollection you can use tape in any color you guys I mean I have tape and I don't know how many colors but if your clothespins are already colored already have prints on them do consider using the the clear because the pattern or the color that you have underneath will show forth okay this is another foil one I love that silver on black I recently picked up these colors <laughs> I love the lime and love the berry and you have the white on the color it's also available with black on pink and black on lime all the tapes I use are generic <laughs> but I couldn't find generic with the black on pink and the black on lime brother has it but it's super duper expensive okay, let's decorate the back I love this lime color it is so well so summery so pretty it's very easy to lay the tape down now you can buy tape with um, like a stronger adhesive on it I have a tip I'm going to share in this video how you can re 
reinforce your tape with my favorite tape of all time. Oh my goodness. And I'm kind of shocked to say this because <laughs> it's going back to old school. But see how you can customize both sides? I absolutely love that. Okay, let's create this mini. It's really easy to pull back the liner. Now with this particular tape, I'm going to have to cut the sides, but you know, it's easy to do it just depending on which tape you're starting with, what size and what size clothespin you're working with. Take your scissors, and I know you can't see it because it's clear. Flush up against your pen, just cut it. It's really easy to do. And then you have a customized mini clothespin. Absolutely love okay, it. So I just added a flower there. Now you can't tell, but I've added washi tape. We are going to make another one of those with this one. Alrighty, let me share my favorite glue of all time. I'll talk more about this in a, uh, another video, but this glue stick, you guys, oh my goodness, it's so versatile. And then now I use it to reinforce my washi. Just add a little bit there. Take your washi tape that comes in different widths. And this particular size is perfect for this clothespin. Smooth it down, cut off your ends, right? And then, do I have a clear label? You probably can't see this one. This is a foiled label that I made. You can even add glue on top, but add your label on top, it will adhere. And then we have a little bit of excess and you trim it off because this is the 12 millimeter tape I used on this particular clothespin. And now I have a customized washi label clothespin that says keep the faith. And by the way, once again, it's foiled. Absolutely love this glue. We're gonna hear more about Okay, in my description box, I have the D210 model, which you're looking at. It's linked there at a fabulous price. It does the same thing as the P-Touch. I've done a comparison. You could even use the ribbon satin tapes for the P-Touch in this model. Here. Also linked, you can pick up a combo set. This is the 12 millimeter, the 0 0.47 inches. You can get the pink and the lime with the black on white tape and the white on black tape. Okay, so I love those colors. I'm gonna also have linked a combo of two of the nine millimeter clear tapes for your smaller um, clothespin. What can I say? I am more and more in love with the clothespin. <laughs> Perfect for the holiday season because it's right around the corner, right? Perfect gift for gift giving. If you do craft fairs, this is easy oh my goodness and if you personalize right someone's name <laughs> you're gonna see me do that oh my goodness do it in different colors do it in different themes do it with your washi tape which comes in a gazillion different patterns and colors i have not played a lot with um the satin ribbons I'm so in love with the other colors, the non-satin. <laughs> I don't play around with these colors much, but of course you can use these as well. Remember, you can go vertical, you can go horizontal, you can incorporate my foil technique. Um, you can paint your own, you can buy them already patterned. Oh my goodness, I can go on and on and on. You guys, if you have been inspired by my creativity, why not give me a big thumbs up? If you have not subscribed, you want to do so right now because more fabulous tutorials are on the way. Feel free to share this video. Feel free to adopt any of my ideas. I only ask for proper credits. Do give shout outs and do link back to this video. Check out my links in my description box. Also check out my playlist because I'm doing a whole series on the label maker. Once again, you don't need this model to create your own customized clothespins. Any model will do. Well, thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.